in the previous video we discussed some uh, the basics features or functional functionalities of the dot.col identity so in this video we are going to establish a connection between our sql server database and we will create our first uh, migration to create the identity features or identity tables in our database you can see that we create uh, app blazor db so here you can see that here is no tables found so through the migration we have to create some uh, identity tables here so for this uh, first uh, i have to establish a connection to the to our database so simply i have to copy this adjusting here and uh, you can see that here is the uh, Connections required the server name and database name. So I simply go there and click on the click on this and just copy the server name. And uh, second one is the database name required. So I have to simply connect this and uh, simply just copy database name and so you can see that here is the connection string uh, attribute and uh, its name is a default database connection default connection so this is uh, that connection string name is compulsory for this uh, when we are using multiple databases so so database uh, connection string name will be different so i am going with the default connection string name so i because i am using single database and uh, you can see that uh, here is the user id which is a uh, essay and a password where we, which is a one two three and trusted connection is equal to false so when we set the trusted connection false which means that we are going to connect our system with in the sql server authentication mode if we go windows authentication mode so in the, this case we need to set the trusted connection true so we are going to uh, connect our database with the our application in the sql server authentication mode so that's why we have set this the trusted connection files and uh, set the username and uh, password to connect to the sql server uh, you can see that when i have set this uh, in the sql uh, select the sql server authentication it's uh, uh, asking for the username and login and password so if i tap uh, username and password and uh, click on the connect button so user will be connected successfully to the system because i have already uh, connected with uh, my login credential so i don't need to add login credential again so next thing is to you can see that uh, we have established a, a connection string here in the app setting.json file and uh, next thing is to create the db context file so db context class there are two ways to we can create our db context files one is the manly and uh, second one is the create uh, db context file through the scaffolding so if we go to the manually uh, database uh, establish uh, connect, uh, uh, establish the application db context so we have to create some folders and uh, create the uh, class and then establish all of things so if we go through the scaffolding we don't need to create any folder and uh, uh, just copy this and i have uh, create the scaffold db context and which contain the server name and uh, uh, database name let's try this simple go to the tools and select package manager console so one thing you need to remember that when uh, you are going to create your db context through scaffolding you have to add 
Microsoft IoT Framework Core Tools uh, package, and after that you can create the uh, your DB context class through the scaffolding. So let's discuss this. So, uh, here is the scaffolding DB context, and uh, in the single quotation. Uh, you can see that the, here is the our connection string which is contain the server name and a db database name the user id which is sa and password which is one two three and i have set the trusted connection files you can see that uh, uh, this connection string is same as uh, i have described in the app setting digestion file so after the that uh, here is the provider which is the microsoft dot entry framework dot entry framework code dot sql server so, so we are going to connect our application with the sql server so that's why we are using sql server you can use accordingly with mysql and any other so here is the context directory where where our db context file will be saved which is the model and the output directory is uh, also model so when i uh, hit the enter button so it, it would show the build is uh, started and it will show all the process and uh, build succeeded you can see that uh, here is the model folder which is automatically created and the db app blazor db contact class which is already created you can see that yeah, that is the code here so uh, we have already create our uh, uh, db context file successfully and also uh, add a connection string in our app setting json file so basically db context is used to use by our application to interact with our underlying database so our in this time our underlying database is the uh, app blazor db so so this uh, this means this is used to manage the database connection as well as also used to perform cloud operation with the underlying database. So connection uh, deep context class is used to perform the some cloud operation uh, like insertion, deletion, uh, get uh, get a result or updation action in our uh, database. So. You can see that in the database uh, connection, uh, when we have created the app db context file, in the app db context uh, constructor, you can see that db context options we, uh, that contains the uh, that carries all the required information, uh, required configuration information such as the db uh, connection string and a database provider. So next thing is to add uh, services in our uh, program.cs file so just move to the program.cs files and uh, i have to just copy just copy this and uh, sorry and i have to paste it here so you can see that uh, here is the uh, we are fetching here the our database uh, connection string which is the which is in the app setting dot json json and its name is a default connection so i have put here the default connection we are using this builder dot configuration dot get connection string and uh, we have passed the it passed the name name of the uh, variable uh, name in this uh, we have save our uh, save our the connection string so through this it will uh, get the our connection string and uh, now we have to add our db context here so just go there and uh, copy paste uh, it here add uh, references just press control dot and select the reference so you can see that we have registered our connection string services here and uh, you can see the service is a collection of the a collection of services 
for the application to compose and this is useful for adding user provided or anti framework provided services so uh, just like uh, we create some repository and uh, uh, to remove the dependencies we add services in the, our program .cs files and uh, and many other services we add here and through to remove the dependencies so next thing i have to add uh, services add some identity features so i have to just copy that these and i have to select builder dot services dot add default configuration and now it's required the our db context class so you can see that we have implemented our uh, DB connection connections uh, connection sync service and uh, a default identity service here. So default identity is an extension that, that sets the default schema to identity application. And it is used to add roles using the add roles or identity roles. So next thing uh, we have to change our DB context class. So you can see that here is the DB context. Well, we don't need to use this because we are going to use the identity DB context. So I have to simply put here identity. Now I have add references here. So you can see that now if we uh, press F12 button, you can uh, see that the this uh, IDB context uh, using the identify user and identity roles by default. So we can get these here. So next uh, is to create our first migration to add these uh, identity features are, uh, are uh, like uh, create uh, identity tables in our database so go to the tools and manage simply add, add migration and its name is so I have I am going to name, give name it initial initial migration. So when I hit this command, this command will create a folder uh, with the migration and uh, initial migration will be created. So EF Core will create a directory uh, called migration in your project and generates some files so add migration will create initial uh, migration uh, and uh, after that we will update the database so just hit printer button you can see that build is succeeded so we found some issues here okay uh, we are missing the key uh, identity type prem requires a primary key to to be defined if you tend to use a keyless entry type so on model creating for more information so oh uh, keys of identity tables are mapped to own model creating method of identity db context and if this is this method is not called and you will end up getting the error that you got so uh, we have to simply copy this method and paste it in the 
on model creating i have just simply paste it here so let's try add migration so you can see that the migration created successfully and uh, our initial migration is added so, so when we create any migration it will create two method uh, which is the uh, one is the up method and uh, one is, other one is the down method up method is used to add all the tables in the database and uh, remove method is uh, used to remove all the tables that uh, are created in the database so if we have to remove we can use the down method all the method those are created in the database will be removed so next uh, go to our database and so just simply refresh it okay okay uh, i found the issue we have to update our database update database command is not uh, we have not run so just simply just copy and uh, paste it here and just hit printer and uh, you will see that uh, this command will update our database and the all the tables will be created in our the database so you can see that all the migration uh, all the tables that um, are related to identity features are added successfully in our in our database app blazor tp so in this video we successfully add successfully add our uh, establish our connection string and uh, after that, we create DB context file class with the uh, scaffolding, and after that, we create our first migration to add identity feature in our database table. So, thank you for watching video. If you have any question regarding the migration, uh, you can put your question in the comment box. Thank you.